Joe Smith finds out through a, through a, a friend that his 52 year old wife has a secret mm-hmm. OF account. Um, they, they, his, his wife posts a video of him, you know, upset about her, about finding out about the account. And his, basically his whole thing was, which I think is more than that, but his, basically his whole thing was, his whole thing was that she did it behind his back and she didn't talk to him about it. Um, and she mm-hmm. has her own arguments about it, but D'Lo, how do you feel about his wife having a secret OnlyFans account behind his back to quote unquote help the financial situation that they have going on in their household. So before I get into it, I want to say a couple of things. One, I don't know how secret it is when she was, or it's been perceived that she was an adult film star before. <laughs> Two, I can't really like the internet has like, the internet has done a great job of making me really second guess what's real and what's not real mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, with all these skits that go on that seem to be real, but then you find out it's not real. I originally thought this was a skit just because of a, a reaction that Joe did towards the end when she was like, well, now, you know, and he was like, it was just real actor. It's like, yeah, now I know it's like, bro, is this real? But anyway, so how I, do, how I feel about it is it really depends on but you always hitting that. Desk. Always hitting the desk, bro. Yeah, because you trying to you trying to put your leg up and whatnot. And you I gotta have look it. Like you're a distinguished you know gentleman. Distinguished. Um, anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> me personally, I would be livid finding out my wife had a secret OnlyFans page, even though I know my wife would not do anything like that. Um, if I was in Joe's shoes, I would be livid. However, for Joe, I think it depends because, like I just mentioned. His wife used to be an adult movie star. And so, or or at least the internet has suggested she used to be a-, a She said it herself. Star. Okay, so there you go. So it's yeah. out there. She She's an adult film star. So him coming into this situation, knowing what she was prior to now, even though she may have retired from the industry uh, up until this point, you got to chill out because you knew what she was doing prior to you all getting married. And I've said it multiple times on this show. Who you, you have to you know who you, ex- you have to know who you, you got to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to know who you're dealing with. You can't expect that just because you have a baby with somebody, which I don't think is the case in, in their situation, but, or get married to them that they're automatically going to change because you, you inter- inject either one of those new situations into the relationship. It doesn't go like that. They have to one, want to change. And then two, if they do change, if some situation, some, some dire situation, some, some situation that brings about, um, some, some adverse, uh, as adverse situation comes about, they're going to revert back to who they are and what they know. And if you're, it's been suggested that they are having money issues. Mm-hmm. And if Joe Smith isn't providing the money, and she knows how to get money and how she was getting money back in the day was doing what she used to do in the adult industry. Of course, she's going to revert back to that. So I feel like it, you know, he should be livid. He shouldn't be livid because he knew who she was. Um, However, me as regular, no pun intended, regular Joe Schmo (laughs) and me and my wife, if I found out she had a, a OnlyFans page and she hasn't had a history of being in the adult industry or doing things like that before. I would be pissed because yes, you didn't talk to me, but first, and first you didn't talk to me about it. And then secondly, this is not you. Why are you on the internet selling your body, essentially selling your soul to make a, a quick buck? So, I mean, that's how I feel about it. What about you? I mean, it's definitely selling the soul because if you think about how women are perceived in in society with OnlyFans accounts and how people talk about them and the how women have come out and talked about their struggle with stopping OnlyFans and getting and getting respect in the community and getting a regular job and you know things of that nature. It's hard for you to break that stigma that is placed upon you from being on OnlyFans. And right. because everybody know it, it's crazy because OnlyFans Or doing anything or doing, doing anything, anything in the adult industry. For sure. For yeah. sure. 
because not even not even the adult industry. If you just on it, if you known to be on the internet shaking your ass or whatnot, like you have that. St- Brittany Renner is a great no for sure great, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, she publicizes she publicized her not to overtake your. No, you could, you could. I apologize, you could. but she publicized her sex capades in a book. Um, but then before that, even before that, she was. On open about Instagram, super open about it doing all kind of things and and now you see her on instagram and on social media and on these podcast runs that she's doing basically talking about how hard it is for her to find a man that values her for who she is but she knows she's going to find him i mean i hope she does hope for she her does. sakes because i think she's she start is starting to take its toll on her mentally and uh psychologically but it's going to be tough because all men now they see you as is an object because of how you objectified yourself in all of your interactions online and in books that you've written and published. Exactly. Because it's funny because she's looked at as like final boss dot. It's kind of crazy. So I, it's yeah. going to be, I hope she finds it, but it's going to be hard. But it's like, so like OnlyFans is like you, like D'Lo said, like you selling your soul because once you get out of that and you realize how, bad only fans is for you and your and your character and your persona like it's hard to step back into reality and have that respect you know what i'm saying but mm-hmm. just like just just like you said bro she was in the adult industry she did a uh interview with tmz i don't know if you saw it and um she was talking about the reasons why she did it now i'm gonna go in a different direction and say that i can understand having to figure things out whenever your spouse is not doing it for himself because in the interview with TMZ she was talking about how she's so just to give a little backstory about Joe Smith first round for number one overall draft pick in 95 he, over his career he has amassed over 60 million dollars and mm-hmm. completely blew that money to the point where now he's a quarter million dollars in debt and his wife, Keisha Chavis is her name. Um, she says, and I don't know how, how true it is, but I can, I can, I can, I'm going to go on record and saying that she's done what she's supposed to do and saying that she's done as much as she could as far as having a pet sitting business, having a moving business, which Joe Smith is a part of, works for her under the moving business. Like she's tried mm-hmm. to find other avenues and do things to help the family. And I can I can appreciate her for that. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm going to say now is that from just listening to her interview on TMZ, she portrayed her marriage to Joe Smith as a come up because she said she was overseas in Europe. She was trying to uh, start up her singing career and it wasn't really moving like that. So she got into Mm -hmm. the adult industry. Now, she met Joe Smith got married to Joe Smith. And again, this is the way she talked about it on TMZ. She saw that as, okay, Joe is going to help me come up in my singing career. So she left mm-hmm. the adult industry, married Joe, and was hoping that it was going to help her singing career. She looked at Joe as a come up from day one. And, it, mm-hmm. and again, I'm not, I'm just saying what she said on TMZ. She looked at right. Joe as a come up from day one. But then she goes on to say, in the first video with Joe Smith in it, she said, you knew who I was before you met me. Goes on TMZ and says, if you knew that I was an adult star and I did that for my survival before, what makes you think I wouldn't do that for my survival again? Exactly. So, so yeah. she, she was, she was, that, that mentality, just like D'Lo said earlier, that meant she, she had, you have to want to change. And she didn't change from the beginning. She was who she was from the beginning. Joe Smith saw that. She was never a different person just because she married you. Right. She was trying, she was using you as a come up from the beginning, G. And the fact that you had all of this whenever y'all first started and now y'all lost it, she going to revert back to her old ways, G. It was, it was nice and it was cool for the first maybe four, five years. And then once she saw that stuff deteriorizing, um, the deteriorating, mm-hmm. she tried to, she tried to bring it back up in her own way, try to do it right. 
but then reverted back what her survival skills are. And that's throwing ass on the internet. Not only is she doing right. it on, on OnlyFans, and she claims that she's not doing it with any, she's doing it by herself. She ain't, she didn't got no men on there. They're not doing any explicit things. She just, well, everything on OnlyFans is explicit, but she not. Not really. Well, true. Not everything on OnlyFans is, but that's, that's, that's how. Because you remember they tried to go legit. At. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried they to try, go they legit tried to cut out the so, adult yeah. industry. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so, yeah. but that that's how OnlyFans is perceived, though. It's, it's right, perceived, that's how it's perceived as, 100%, as explicit. Yeah. So she said that she she doesn't have any men on there doing anything with her. It's just her by herself and showing her body, which is demeaning in itself. But she's also promoting on especially Twitter, especially being married, especially being married, and and I'm just gonna say this, and also being 52, like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, 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 you you you, 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 you pass that time, player. Unfortunately, yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty of uh, adult actresses that are in her age range, but I'm not saying it makes. But it they're right, actually but hardcore with it, though. Like they actually out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They not on yeah, OnlyFans, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but. But they might they, still, they might be on OnlyFans, but yeah, at the same yeah, time, yeah. even they are past their season two. You know, what I'm saying now they now they got titles on these websites that's like granny type shit. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like that's what they have. On, that's what the title of the, of the, the video yeah. would be. With like gra- you know, granny titles type shit. Different but strokes for different, different strokes for different folks. Literally. Exactly. So it's like you. She also what I was saying was she's also promoting. FaceTimes and video calls for a certain amount of dollars. And the more you spend, the more you see on Twitter. Mm. So mm-hmm. it's just, you know, but it's, but in, in her defense, she's doing it for her survival, but mm. to hide it from your husband and do it behind his back. Cause she, and she was trying to make it seem like also that it, she found, he, he found out from, she, he found out from a, a, a female friend of his, which he was involved with. Now that I don't, mm. I don't, I honestly don't believe that. I think she's saying it, to make her case and to avoid accountability for what she did. But Mm -hmm. she's, but, and, and I'm of the belief that a lot of opposite gender friends aren't really friends at some point, because at some point some things can go down if the right situation occurred. So I can kind of understand where she's coming from there, but I don't, I, I, I'm going to, since I don't have any evidence, I can't say that's what he was doing, but Mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a fucked up situation, bro, because I would be livid if my lady behind my back was on some OF cut, and that's not her character either. You know what I'm saying? And right. I'm like, bro, and, like... And, and that's my point. I would be mad too. That's the I, point I'm trying to make. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the point I'm trying to make is if if it's in... If they've done it before, then you can't be too surprised if they resort back to that in the in the future or present. For sure. But if they haven't shown that to you in in the past... Or you didn't know about it. Now, if if she if she was hiding that coming into their marriage and he's mad now, then yeah, I can I can understand the reaction that he's given. But he apparently he knew coming into their marriage that she was she who was she doing, was, exactly. And what she was capable of. And, and and he's acting like this. I mean, I guess he thought like she she moved past it, but like I said, when you face adverse situations, it brings out who you have been your entire life your entire life or whatever the situation is that you're in, it brings out that person to you. And, mm-hmm. you know, Luda said it best. Can't turn a pro into a housewife. Pros don't act right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and two is the, is the oldest profession known to man. That's in the Bible. You have toots in the Bible. So, I mean, mm-hmm. and women have always, as for as long as we known, as long as written history, they've always utilized their body as a method to pay the bills. And so mm-hmm. men oftentimes will pay whatever to see or do things with women that they desire. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not knocking her for, for taking advantage of what God has given her. I mean, all I saw was her face and I, I didn't, I didn't go search for any of her old videos. I, I didn't know her, her industry name, but I, well, it says you know it had, I mean? she, her performance name was Yastin Penn Davis or some shit like that. That's what it says. That's it. That was her name. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't... She she mentioned the reason that she was doing this because they were behind on bills. And so she she resorted to what she know best and what she knew she know is hot right now and, and making a lot of women millionaires, realistically. Realistically. Bad... What, what was a girl named Bad Bobby? Bad, bad, bad Barbie. 
Bad Barbie, Bad, bad Barbie, no, bad, bad Barbie, Bad, bad Barbie, Bad, bad Bunny is the, the, is singer, the, the, the singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah my yeah, bad, yeah. bro. My bad, bro. My yeah, bad, yeah. Bro. She says she made fifty million dollars in a year, and she doesn't even her really first year show much. The moment she turned her 18. first year, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, she's just doing she's just doing what women have been making a lot of money on, and it's a so people call me have called me a simp on our platform for some of my takes and how I defend women at times. Simp. That, that's not simping. Simping is paying to see these women when you know, like you have no chance of even touching her, seeing her in any regard other than through the internet. So, I mean, I mean, listen, tooting is the oldest business in the world. And I'm not saying that she's a toot, but you know, the sex industry the sex industry has <laughs> been around it. for a long time bro it has man and you know again my last take on it i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm just piggyback off of what d-lo said whenever you 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 are who you are and you have to understand who you're dealing with prior to you getting into the situation and she did like she said she did what she had to do for her survival and she reverted back to what she know so I can't blame her for that, but I also can't blame Joe Smith for reacting the way he reacted because it was done behind his back. Not of what she did, because he knew who she was, like 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 she said, but it was done behind his back. And as his as his wife, I feel like she should have came to him like, yo, like the 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 dog sitting business ain't bringing in the money we need. The moving company ain't bringing in the money we need. I got to go back to my survival technique and go back to slanging this dang right here, this body. I got to. <laughs> and he could have gave he could have gave his 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 two cents if he didn't want him to do it, yada yada yada. But and they could have talked about it, had the conversation, right. which is what we talk about all the time when it comes to relationships. Communication is the is the thing that's going to keep y'all together. If y'all can talk about anything and come 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 together and be like, you know, this is what's going on, let's fix it, then y'all can Y'all can conquer a lot in the relationship just by communicating with each other. Right. But that's not what happened here, and which is why they in this situation that they in now. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far and you like what you see, there's a video on the screen right here. Make sure you click that and view that. We think you're going to love it. Also, we almost at that 450 subscriber mark that we're trying to hit, man. So hit that subscribe button right here as well. And we on all your streaming platforms, wherever you find your podcast.